Moisturizer. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, everybody? Welcome back to our Pictures Light Show channel called Activities. And today's episode, we have where we see Cobra's uncle, who is Bonolo's father, in the hospital bed. And then his daughter entered. And when Bonolo was still standing by the bed with her father lying on it, Bonolo's husband, Lebu, entered. And Lebu was still pissed off and angry at Bonolo for what Beauty said about her that she's sleeping with Ndumiso. Lebu asked Bonolo, how's the updates about her father? She told him that nothing has changed and then Lebu who was still angry left her in the ward without saying another word and going straight to Tusom Kwena's house in Rahari's bedroom. Rahari was waking up while Babalo came to bring her tea asking her if she is awake because she hardly slept. Rahari told Babalo that she is fine when Babalo was asking her if she is going somewhere. Rahari told Babalo that she is going to the hospital to see her brother. Babalo told Rahari to go and see him in the afternoon and she gave her that cup of tea telling her to relax. She already made a breakfast and, and packed a lunchbox for Bonolo. Rahari told Babalo that she doesn't want to lose her brother because she'll be left alone if she can lose him. Babalo told Rahari that she's not gonna lose him because he's not going anywhere. He'll be fine and he'll be back home. And back to the hospital, Lebu was still angry sitting alone thinking about her cheating wife Bonolo. And few moments later, Bonolo entered and sat next to him and she was apologizing to him, telling him that she was wrong and she admits that he it was her intention to hurt him and she doesn't want to disrespect him for her excuses. Lebo asked Bonolo if she slept with the same guy that she slept with before their wedding. Bonolo said yes and Lebo asked her if she loves him. Bonolo refused telling Lebo that he is the only man that she loves. Lebo asked for Ndumiso's surname. Bonolo started mumbling and Lebo was shouting at Bonolo for Ndumiso's surname when Bonolo refused to tell him Ndumiso's surname. But at the end Bonolo told Lebo that his name name is Ndumiso Zwani. And going back to Copra Tuso Mukwena's house, Dimpo and Copra were still surprised and shocked about Bonolo's cheating when Dimpo was telling her brother that Bonolo is not ashamed while she's a doctor on top of that. Copra told his sister that doctors as well are cheating and they are more dangerous. Like the one that was arrested in Tanzania recently. While Dimpo continued saying that that poor guy Lebo is so naive while their cousin is cheating and the worst part she didn't tell her about anything. When Morena was bringing his opinion Cobra told him that he's still gonna teach him more about women because women can keep secrets and Cobra was comparing them to hard drives and memory sticks that a woman can keep a secret compared to those things. Dimpo was shouting saying that she's gonna call her right now and Morena too stood up and told his father that he's going to take a shower and leave the scandals of this house and Cobra was left alone talking to himself saying that these people are my body is here but my mind is on the other side of town and at that moment Rahari entered with Babalo and, and they were giggling talking when Babalo was asking Rahari if she is alright Rahari said she is fine and she was also asking Babalo how was her run joking and when Tuso saw them happy he started talking saying that ex-prisoners are heartless because his uncle has a heart attack in hospital and they are joking eating chocolates and having fun and Cobra asked them if they are back together Babalo told Cobra to give her that glass of water and Pabalo took Copra's glass of water and she started drinking. Going to Bangizwe's scrapyard, Lebu arrived there shouting and calling Dumiso's name saying all hell will break loose today. He looked Dumiso in the eyes and, and asking if he thinks he can eat from the same plate as him. He told Dumiso not to dare touch his wife while he was telling him to stay away from Bonolo. Dumiso responded telling Lebu to tell him when he's done talking because he has to get back to work. Lebu continued calling Dumiso a bastard pointing him telling him he's gonna teach him a lesson if he doesn't listen to him. Dumiso told Lebu that the girl came to him in the first place because Lebu failed to satisfy her in bed because he's not man enough. He told him he came wherever he came from to yell at him at his home. Dumiso told Lebu to leave because he's gonna beat him up telling him to go and bath because he's got smelly armpits. Moving to Kanisa Dam on mine, Flora visited Rahadi in mine giving her something to eat and Flora asked Rahadi Rahadi, what was she doing with Pastor Mluli yesterday? Rahadi told Flora that she only needed advice from him. Flora was still digging, asking Rahadi if they
there's a problem with their friendship because she was supposed to come to her for that advice because she's been always there for her. She said she thought they could talk about anything. Rahadi told Flora that their friendship is not in trouble. It was actually something that was specific that she wanted to ask Pastor Mluli and indeed he assisted her and gave her a very good advice. Rahadi continued ignoring Flora telling her that Pastor Mluli is such an intelligent man. That is the reason why she likes him so much. He is very intelligent. Mm, although Flora was not satisfied but she told Rahadi that indeed Mluli is intelligent. Flora continued trying to find some answers from Rahadi saying that she thought they were gonna talk woman to woman as the friend she's always been with for such a long time because she's not gonna judge her. Rahadi told Flora that Pestem Luli resolved it and she's feeling okay now. And Flora left with that unsatisfaction. She told Rahadi goodbye while Rahadi was saying thank you for the food, wishing her a safe journey. While Flora was gone, Rahadi was so shocked thinking about Flora's last words that she's not gonna judge her. Going back to Cobra to Somukwena's house, Cobra was talking to Babalo saying that today he's happy because his auntie took his advice and Cobra continued asking Babalo that when is his receiving his dowry. Babalo told Cobra not to take it too far but she's thankful from Cobra for supporting them. Babalo told Cobra that she have to do something like to leave because she's feeling like she was forcing Rahadi to love her. Cobra got disappointed asking Babalo if she's trying to hurt his aunt asking Babalo if she's breaking up with Rahadi. Babalo told me that they are not breaking up. It's just that it's not Kitty's fault but it's Babalo's fault. And moving back to the tavern, Rahadi was talking to Pastor Mluli when she was telling him that she knows Flora very well. She won't rest until she finds out what were they talking about. She told him that she doesn't want that. It cannot happen at all. Pastor Mluli told Rahadi that no one gets along with Flora like her because they are too close. But Flora is a very smart and wise Christian woman she will understand. Rahadi continued telling Pastor Mluli that she loved her friend Flora and she know her better than anyone else but as for this situation she doesn't think she will handle it as wisely as Pastor Mluli because Flora is very judgmental. Pastor Mluli told Rahadi that Flora doesn't live according to the rules of the earth. She's a Christian woman but the very important thing there is no one who can tell Rahadi about her life and her decisions to make. The pastor continued telling Rahadi to be sure that she have peace no matter who's watching her. Rahadi thanked pastor and left while the pastor was making a joke about even the pastor who comes to the tavern like this. And then pastor Mluli left Rahadi when he was going to order his food and Rahadi started thinking about Pabalo while she was blushing. Going back to Cobra Tusa Mukwena's house, Lebu took his backpack from the bedroom and sit next to it on the couch and he unzipped it and took out a gun inside and carried that gun with him. Who is he gonna shoot? And still in Cobra Mukwena's house in Rahari's bedroom, Rahari and her new girlfriend Babalo were having a good time. Rahari for the first time told Babalo that she loved her and Rahari continued telling Babalo that she wanna be with her her for the rest of their life and they started hugging and kissing and going back to Bangiza's scrapyard in the office Lebu came in still looking for Ndumiso when Ndumiso was busy with the office work when Lebu was asking Dumiso if he believed by seeing, Dumiso was ignoring Lebu when Lebu continued talking to Dumiso, Dumiso who was silent until Dumiso stood up with some documents continuing with his work while Lebu was asking him if he's taking him for granted. When Lebu seeing that Dumiso is ignoring him like he's invisible, Lebu pulled out a gun and pointing Dumiso telling him that if he's taking one step he will deal with him and shoot him right on the spot. When Lebu was pointing Dumiso with a Gun. Lebo's phone rang. When Lebo's cell phone disturbing him, Dumiso got a chance to grab the gun and wrestle him to the floor, punching him. And Dumiso took out the magazine of the gun, getting rid of the bullets, telling Lebo that next time he wants to shoot someone, he has to make sure. Dumiso gave Lebo an empty gun and told him to get the f out of his father's office. Back to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house in Rahari. Rahari and Babalo were still having a good time, giggling and talking to each other, laughing, hugging and kissing each other, talking about the old days they had and their previous life in prison. But Babalo brought the bad news to Rahari, telling her that she decided to leave. Rahari 
ask her where she's going. Babalo told Rahari that she thinks she should have gave her a time to think about this so that Rahari should be sure and not to feel like she's forcing her. Rahari said no it's not like that it's just that it was unexpected but now she accepted it because the most important thing now is that she is here and she is with her. Babalo told Rahari that she is sorry but she have to give her some space to take her time to think about it because this is not the end they see each other. Maybe in few months or few years they might have another chance to be together and Rahari was so disappointed and that's the end and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see what's gonna happen up next and see you on the next episode thank you for watching steriza tv and please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this